Without further ado, we have Dan Warren with our presentation on his tip today on how to export information out to Excel and view in Power BI. That is an information packed tip, so I'm gonna let him get started. Okay, yeah, so what I wanted to cover today in our quick tip is um, just an introduction to how do we get data out of Excel and I mean, how do we get data out of Revit and start playing with that in um, Power BI? Because <clears throat> once you once you get used to the data and I'll cover some of the, the snags you run into along the way, um, once you're in Power BI, you can start to interrogate a lot of your data. So like this is a little dashboard I made and and I'm using the uh, the tried and true Revit sample model that everyone knows. Um, so the way this works is this is like the lowest tier way of getting data out of Revit. And it's just a straight schedule um, export. Um, the first trick you got to know when you're setting up your schedule is you want your schedule to look as close to the data that you want to process in Excel. So if it's if it's numbers and you have to do float, you'll want to adjust your units so that the float's correct on your numbers or rounding, things like that. Um, if you're pulling like family and family name, sometimes you want to use those family and family type. I mean, sometimes you want to use those pieces of information separately. So you'd want to schedule them separately. That way you minimize the amount of data massaging you have to do in um, Excel, because that's where you kind of have to manipulate the data, or it's the easiest place to manipulate the data before you go to Power BI, I have found. Um, so I just created a simple um, ex, uh, schedule, and in my schedule, I've got my basic room information. Um, I, do, I do find it is very helpful to turn off your title if you're going to be um, exporting this out to Excel, so you can have dedicated views for this. And then the process is very complicated. You come up to file and go to export. And then I don't know why the wheel doesn't work there, but then you come down here to where's my reports and I pick my schedule. And if the schedule is active, it will actually select this schedule automatically. Um, and it will export it out to a CSV, which if you'd like to see that, here is the CSV in Excel. So I've got all my data set up ready to go. So every time I, if I do that export again, it'll just overwrite the CSV and my data then becomes quasi live or semi-automatic. So I have this data in Excel. This isn't really where I wanna do my manipulation. So what I'm going to do is go to Power BI. And if you've never used Power BI before, the way you pull data into it is you go to get data up here and I'm gonna get data from a CSV and I can see right there, there's my department schedule. And I've also put out a furniture schedule. And I'm gonna show you how to tie the room and the furniture to the room in the Revit file. Um, so then you can schedule department furniture and stuff like that. So once you pull this information in, you're gonna have these data sets like this. So this is just basically viewing my Excel file. And then I turn around and this is where I can use, I can create the relationships in my data. So when I have my CSVs pulled in, here's my department schedule, simple CSV export, and a room furniture schedule, which has room number and room name, which I also have over here, my room number and name. And you literally just drag and drop to create data connections. And this, is, this helps build your data model. Um, once that's set up, you now have all the connections you need to start creating a report. So for example, if I wanted to recreate this report right here, this sum of area by level and department, all I have to do is tell Power BI that I wanna create a new, sorry, zoom's in the way, a new, where's my tree, tree map. And then all I have to do is start dragging and dropping data in there. So I wanna drop in there my area and my department and there we go. So now I have a breakdown of all my different departments. Oh, sorry, the, I did this backwards. This would be um, values need to go down here and departments need to go up here. There we go. So now I have a breakdown of all my departments and their area. Um, what I really like about this is you can layer information. So in this tree, I have layered the level information. So if I wanna look at circulation for level three, I can click on that and it drills down all my other information in my report. So it becomes a live dashboard. Um, and then for the furniture, same thing, because I tied 
the furniture, the room the furniture's in to the department information by tying it to the room name and the room number, I can now figure out exactly how many of each piece of furniture is in each department in my building. So um, if you'd like, I put all of this together in a um, zip file. So you have my Excel sheet, you have the data set, you have actually a Dynamo script that creates the CSV as well. Um, I've got that zipped and put on and the link is in the mural for your download next to my name on the left. So there you go. There's my quick tip. That was amazing. And I feel like the barrier to entry that is incredibly low, right? I, I've played a little bit with Power BI, definitely not to that extent. And I would definitely not be able to give a tutorial as long as you just did. But I feel like most of the information that you need is pretty much on YouTube or like on the mm -hmm. power. It's, it's a pretty easy interface to deal with. Yeah, I'm a big proponent of the college of YouTube. Yeah, but but Power BI is great. Would you say mm -hmm. that it's you picked it up pretty quickly? Yeah, um, I mean, I literally started playing with it two weeks ago. Wow. So. And you're um, a whiz at the tutorial, even. No <laughs> <You> whiz. <know? laughs> awesome. But I do well, think I so do think it is a comfort thing. Once you get your hands on it, you start playing with it, you can really go a long way. Which is why I'm giving away that template for free, just so it'll get people to open it up and play with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. That mm -hmm. was, that was incredibly informative. I feel like not many people really know even that you can export data that way. So fantastic.